for my morning flight. Juan Yin. Revenue. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I wonder what's going on in here. One of the most amazing things about nature is how butterflies change from caterpillars to butterflies. Do you know what that process is called? Metamorphosis. That's right, metamorphosis. Today we're going to be talking about the life cycle of a butterfly. Um, I believe this is my department. I'll take it from here. Good morning, Sky. Here, I've got some pictures to show you. Here's my mom and dad. Oops, how did those get in there? Sorry about that. Where was I? Oh, yes, after they made it, my mom laid 500 tiny little eggs on the underside of a special leaf. Some butterflies can lay up to 500 eggs. They lay eggs on the bottom of a leaf to hide them from spiders and other predators. Each egg is the size of a pinhead and can be any shape. About nine days later came me and a lot of brothers and sisters. They named me Sky, even though I didn't look like I'd ever fly. They knew one day I would be a beautiful blue morpho butterfly. They only lay eggs on special plants that they know the babies will eat. When an egg is ready to hatch, you can see a baby caterpillar inside. I was green, had a lot of legs, and I was the size of one of your eyelashes. I was hungry all the time. This is when I was a larva. Do you have any questions? What did you eat? Strictly vegetarian. As soon as I hatched, I ate my empty eggshell then I ate all the leaves from the special plant where my mom laid her eggs. I had strong jaws called mandibles that helped me eat a lot. I ate all day and all night. As Skye got bigger, she also outgrew her skin. Most caterpillars molt or shed their skin five times. As a full-grown caterpillar, I was bigger than your finger. If a baby grew as fast as a caterpillar, he would be about the size of a football field in one week. What did you drink? When I was thirsty, I would just eat more leaves because they had water in them. You see, the more I ate as a caterpillar, the bigger butterfly I would be. I wanted to have big, beautiful wings. So I ate and ate and ate. After about a month, I found a nice branch and just hung out for a while. This is when I shed my skin one more time to expose my chrysalis. The chrysalis is a hard shell that kept me safe from predators. While inside, my body released special chemicals that changed my body from a long, squishy worm into a beautiful butterfly. When a butterfly is ready to emerge, you will be able to see its wings inside the chrysalis. At this stage, Skye was a pupa. But not for long. After a couple of weeks, I pulled myself out of the chrysalis and emerged as a beautiful adult butterfly. I wasn't quite ready to fly yet, though. Skye's wings were tiny and wet, and her body was filled with fluid. She had to wait for her wings to get bigger and dry, and force some liquid to leave her body. So I hung upside down for a while. Skye had to hold on tight to her chrysalis shell to keep from falling. She had to wait for fluid to pump from her body into her wings. This helped her wings stretch out so they could dry. My wings expanded, sort of like a balloon when you blow it up. Once my wings were dry, I was ready to take off. So, is the chrysalis the same as a cocoon? Good question! No, a cocoon is an added protective layer that many insects have, not just moths. Not all, but most moth caterpillars make a cocoon for themselves before turning into a chrysalis. It's like a camouflage silk blanket. However, a caterpillar that will become a butterfly turns directly into a chrysalis a hard protective case that is similar to a suitcase. How long do butterflies live? Different species of butterflies live longer than others. Some live only a week, while others can live up to three months. So let's review. The stages of a butterfly are the egg stage, the larva stage, the pupa stage, 
and the adult stage. Thank you, Skye. You did a great job of explaining the life cycle of a butterfly. Glad to help, but life is short. I gotta fly.